You at the Zoo is an eTech Ohio project produced in partnership with CET, Think TV, and the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden, with additional support provided by the Robert Gould Foundation. Hi, I'm Thane Maynard from the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. And I'm Ebony from the You at the Zoo team. Today we're investigating what makes a bird a bird. Birds are found all over the world in all kinds of colors, shapes, and sizes. The way a bird looks can tell us a lot about how it lives. To find out more about birds, let's visit Gary Densler, the chief bird trainer here at the Cincinnati Zoo. What makes a bird a bird? Well, a lot of people think, well, they can fly. Well, that doesn't separate them because mammals, of course, with bats can fly. Insects can fly. There's even a fish that can fly. The one thing that separates birds from all other animals is feathers. All birds have feathers. All birds lay eggs. All birds have beaks. Most birds have hollow bones. Everything about a bird is built for flight. The birds that do fly, they're built very, very light. A house cat weighs more than my bald eagle, but it's a big bird. If you took all the feathers off of a bird, there's really not a whole lot of an animal bird. You can tell a lot about how a bird lives and how it survives just by the shape of its beak. A predatory bird like a hawk has a curved beak and it's used to tear the prey apart after it does its killing. The flamingo's beak actually works upside down as it leans into the water. A parrot's beak is designed for cracking open seeds and nuts, so they have a very strong, powerful beak. No matter where you live, you're going to be around birds. They're everywhere. If you go outside any building, the first sign of life you're going to see, other than people, is going to be birds. They're just part of our everyday life. So, Ebony, would you say this is a bird? Don't think so. That's an American alligator. Alligators might lay eggs, but they don't have any feathers and they can't fly, so they are definitely not birds. That's right. This isn't a bird. This is Daytona. He's a one-year-old alligator from Florida. But, Ebony, I have to ask, can all birds fly? Interesting point. There is a lot of variety among different bird species. Let's send the U.S. at the zoo team to investigate the similarities and differences between two of the zoo's most popular birds. Hello, my name is Stuart. Hi, my name is Justin. Hi, my name is Calvin, and today we're investigating birds. This is Charlie. Charlie's a black-footed penguin. Some interesting adaptations that helps him to survive. His wings look like flippers. He actually can fly through the water with those flippers. His feet are just like a frogman flipper. He actually uses his feet more for steering. How much does he weigh? He weighs about six pounds. This is Rexita. Rexita is a spectacled owl. They're great hunters. They're stealthy, which means they sneak up on their prey. And one of the ways they're able to sneak up on something is their feathers. Owls have very soft feathers. So when that owl's flying, it completely silences the wind going through the feathers. And what she uses for killing the prey is her feet. She's got very strong, powerful talons or claws. How big is her wingspan? About two and a half feet. It's about like 11 inches. 11 inches, and that's only the one joint. Looks like... Charlie's wing is about seven inches. An owl is a great bird to look at its feathers. What do you see? Big brown feathers and they have little strikes in them. Yeah, you see lots of little softened edges and that helps to keep him what? Silent, that's right. What do you see? Lots of little black feathers, no white feathers. Penguins are loaded with little tight feathers. That helps to insulate them when they're swimming in the ocean. Who do you think ate what? I think the owl eats the mouse. I think the penguin eats the fish. Based on their <laughs> adaptations, right? Yep. The penguin has to be able to out what? Out swim. Out swim him. And the owl has to do what to catch the mouse? Sneak up. Sneak up on him. That's right. Very good. Today we learned that the owl uses its wings to fly and that the penguin uses its wings to swim. The penguin uses its feathers for insulation and the owl uses its feathers for silent flight. Penguins use their feet to steer themselves through water, but owls use their feet to kill their prey. There are about 10,000 species of birds alive in the world today, and that's a lot of birds to keep straight. But the closer we look at different birds, the more we learn that a bird is a bird, and each one is different and special in its own way. I'm Thane Maynard. And I'm Ebony. And, and we'll, we'll see you at, at the, the zoo. zoo.